Come on, Ben. I guess stop. Don't. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to build an online presence. Well, ahoy well, there, there, cruises, and welcome to Coco K at Perfect Day. We're back, and we're going to be doing something very different today and very posh. So you're going to want to stick by. There's going to be more food, fun, and lovingness, and excellence, and fabulous excellence. Oh, my God, I've just woken up. I haven't had my coffee yet, but we're going to have a great day here today, aren't we? So do join us. There's lots coming. Yeah, I think we're going to have a perfect day. <sighs> or a wonderful day <sighs> anyway come join us let's head off for breakfast we're starving so let's go Ooh, gotta admit we didn't sleep that well tonight those banging doors were so loud i spent about half an hour as well last night trying to get the doors so they didn't start slam so the magnets but my gosh they slam don't they oh my gosh every door and i don't think people are actually slamming the door i think no, the doors no. just bang they really bang. loud and we didn't go to bed till after midnight but we heard a few people come back and yeah. slam their doors and go to the toilet it was all oh good soften the bangs that's what i say soften the bangs sorry i'm just avoiding all the hoovers and <laughs> and cleaning things god it's a long ship right let's go get some food i'm really hungry this morning which is surprising because i ate my weight in chicken yesterday but hey it's a new day it's a new dawn it's a new life for me food and i'm feeling, feeling hungry so cute they're making balloon animals at the entrance of the buffet just adorable morning <laughs> you guys have had coffee already this morning <laughs> Fabulous. So I have my coffee to wake me up. My God, I do feel like I'm about half, half conscious right now. So I'm feeling very good now that I've got my IV drip of coffee going into me. Now for breakfast, I've got something unusual, something different, something original. Take a look at this. We had biscuits in our last cruise. Well, I've only gone and done it. I've made them British. We've got Beans on biscuits instead of beans on toast. Go in there and taste this. Oh God, even I'm afraid of this. You know what, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, corned beef hash on there, just to give it a little bit of flavor as well. So then it's like an all-in-one mouthful. To soften the blow. Well, stick a sail on me and call me a catamaran. I've only gone and done it again. I've invented a new food thing. That's the second time this cruise. That is absolutely wonderful. That really, really works. You've got the sauce from the beans instead of that other stuff that you guys call gravy. That is not gravy where we come from. That is wonderful. I'm taking that home. I'm going to open up a stall called Biscuits and Beans and it's going to be a blooming hit. Trust me. Triple B, Ben's Biscuits and Beans. Oh my God, I'm basically Nigella Bloody Lawson. I'm coming up with new things every day. And these sausages, oh, oh. Yeah, that'll do. You look, <laughs> oh you look like you're parasailing or something. Bring me coffee. I need coffee. I've gone for something different. I've gone out my comfort zone and I've gone all American. He's even me. surprised me. I have. I've got waffles this morning. They have waffles that are freshly made and all the fixings. You can choose what you want. They had chocolate strawberries cream almonds coconut so i've got strawberries and cream on mine with a dash of almonds why not they're really good i'm really surprised because you don't eat much sweet food <laughs> I do, do you know what though the waffles are not sweet i go with like all the cream but the waffles are so good they're crispy but really fluffy on the inside and they go really nice with the cream as well i think i'm a waffle convert ben they're really good they're not greasy or anything I told you you've been missing out all of these years. What have I done with my life? I know you waffle on a lot. That's your first one of the day. So here on Coco Key, you have a choice of doing things. You can pay to do something like uh, going on the water park or doing other things on Bobby Island, or you can do things for free. Anyway, we just had a look at the prices of some of the stuff and we saw that the swimming with pigs is so expensive. I've got a top tip here, people, which I've just came up with myself. Get yourself a pork sausage from the buffet and just throw it into the pool. You literally are going to be swimming with pigs then. And you can eat it afterwards too. I'll be totally safe because the pills are chlorinated. 
Sorry to all the vegetarians. That pig's swimming in my mouth now. I got me some breakfast dessert. I'm going all healthy. I got carrot cake. It's basically a vegetable in a cake. And remember, calories don't count at sea. Let's have a taste of it. It's got actual carrot in it, and carrot muffin. It's got a nice taste, but it's very, very dry. I got a really cute little cinnamon roll from the kids section, and it's got some white chocolate pink icing on top. If you didn't check out our other video where we did a full buffet tour, we take you all around and show you everything. Anyway, let's have a taste. It's so dinky and cute. Anyway, should we wrap up and get on that beautiful island that we call Coco Cay? I'm gonna quickly eat this, then we'll run off. It's gonna be a really, really fun day. You're gonna to wanna to stick by and see what we do because it's gonna be something real special. I sounded like a psychopath then. <laughs> Come with us, children. It's gonna be special. It's gonna be special and you're gonna enjoy it. Real special. It's also a bit dry. Is it a dry day on the ship? All right. So we're here in Milan. Uh-huh. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, Philippines. It's beautiful. Thank you. Love it, girl. All righty. I've met royalty. <laughs> Let's go, David. Let's go. We need to just pick up our uh, beach bag and then we're heading on to Coco Cay. I've had coffee. I'm feeling very sprightly. And I'm feeling a lot more alive now, are you? I don't feel like death warmed up now. I feel like a spring chicken. of fun with a bar, having lots of fun with a coke, coke, K. Oh my God, he just said, hey. Whilst rehearsing for the new parade, we noticed Royal Caribbean have changed all of the lyrics to Lady Gaga's Born This Way. Big no, no Royal Caribbean, that song that means so much to the LGBT plus community and has saved so many lives from suicide. Bad move. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the online platform that helps you create your online website in a beautiful and easy way. We have built our whole website using Squarespace and we absolutely love the way that it looks. Highlights for us include the powerful blogging tools. We can quickly post and categorize content and gain powerful insights with the analytic tools. And we can seamlessly integrate our social media channels. I can't tell you enough how much of a difference this has made to us. It's made our lives so much easier. We used to dread making simple changes and adding more content. Now it just takes us seconds. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Ben and David to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. It's so nice to be back in perfect day. We have had the most amazing weather the whole cruise. We really have, we've been so lucky. It's been so sunny and lovely the whole time. So nice to be out of the UK where it's completely and utterly miserable at the moment. Honestly, the weather's just atrocious and it's so nice to see our ship here. We're parked next to the freedom of the seas again, but we're gonna head somewhere very special now. So should we head off? Let's go guys. Oh, this is perfect. Gorgeous weather. Gorgeous island and gorgeous company. He's talking about Steph, not me. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's hop on. Right, let's hop on the tram to our destination for today. Well, this is where we are. Let's go to the beach club. What a special treat! Let's go. Ooh, this is such a fancy entrance. I already really love it. Honestly, we are so lucky that we are here today because Freedom of the Seas is having a spring break cruise. Oh my gosh, so far I have never met such a bunch of obnoxious kids in my whole life. They're already half drunk, they were walking past the, the, um, the vans going, put, sticking the two fingers up and shouting F off. I mean, how did they even get on this island? It's freaking crazy, but we're in this paradise today, so come join us. So we're just on the way to the cabana. Wow, it's such a lovely walk. It's so well landscaped here. It feels very posh indeed, loving it. Oh my gosh. Well, this is rather lovely, isn't it? The last time we were on that side of the rocks and now we're on this side of the rocks to experience the Coco Beach Club. And we're gonna have a look around a cabana and these cabanas are out in the water. They look incredible. It looks like something from a picture perfect postcard, true paradise. 
Hallo. Thank hey. you. Oh my god, guys. Guess where we are? We're in the beach club and I am so excited. I don't think I've ever been this excited in my life. I could pee myself. I cannot believe we're gonna to get to spend the day here, but our beautiful, beautiful subscribers, Larry and Ron, have invited us to spend the day at their floating beach cabana here in the beach club. And oh my gosh, I have never ever seen anything like it. The opulence, the beauty. I feel like a millionaire right now, guys. We really don't get to see this. They very kindly invited us after seeing our last video on Odyssey where we were trying to climb over the fence and we were like, we can't afford to stay here. So they've invited us. I mean, how nice is that? We have got the best subscribers and viewers in the world. But trust me, you're gonna to wanna to see it, it's amazing. So you basically walk the plank here into these amazing cabanas and boy are they absolutely beautiful. First up, you've got a really comfortable seating area, really nice and plush, really undercover as well in case you get wind or rain. The sides do close in as well. So if you want some privacy, you want a nice afternoon nap or you just wanna block some of the wind, you can do, it's super easy beautiful soft cushioning you've got a lovely little living area it's gorgeous it's perfect for the afternoon nap you can just lay down and oh, live the opulent life and feel very fancy indeed it's all very soft and plush look it's all real it's real wood as well you've got really posh towels I mean come and have a look at these uh, these aren't just any beach towels these are made from lamb wool sheep and handcrafted by beautiful women in the paradises of Eden. You can wear them as a, as a skirt, you can dry yourself off. It's like 100% Egyptian cotton. It just feels very wonderful. I mean, that, oh God, that, if you were here feeling this right now, you'd be in heaven. It's just wonderful. Oh. I don't know where they're made, but they are really lovely and soft. They are gorgeous, really nice eating area. The table as well transforms into a safe as well. So if you've got any belongings, you can pop them in there. Really, really wonderful. Let's move on to another area. So what's fantastic about this is there's a touchscreen display and you can pair your devices to it. So if you want music from your iPhone, laptop, whatever, you can plug them in as well. It doesn't have to be Bluetooth. Control the volume, it's fantastic. They've actually got a music selection on there as well. So they've got top 10 hits. They've got all sorts. Let me turn that Ooh, down there. Oh, we've got a there. bit of Madonna there. But it's really fantastic. Top 40, pop, Latin, Caribbean. How amazing is that? So you can listen to your own music all day long. And because it's so private, you're not going to disturb anywhere else. I hope it's coming across, but this place is gigantic. I mean, just look at that. It's wonderful. You've got your own little kitchen station as well as a mini fridge. If you're on any drinks packages, all of the drinks in here are included depending on what package you're on. An umbrella, we don't need that today so that can get thrown into the ocean because we're not having any rain today, people. Uh, no, 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 don't pollute the ocean. I know. Oh, I'm back out the closet again. Well, welcome. This is your own private little changing room as well as a shower. It really is wonderful. It's got a mirror in there and everything, but yeah, it's great. You can wash your hands, do all of that jazz. It is just spectacular. But now to the Pierre de Résistance, or the Piece de Résistance. There's so much room to enjoy. Out here, you've got a big sun deck. There's four large sun lounges. These come down fully into beds. So next to the sun bed, you've got a lovely little dining table as well. Look at this, it's so fancy. You can pop these up if you want a little bit of shade. Just be really, really careful, guys, because if you're sitting here and go back too far, that's it, you're gonna end up in the water, but it's all good. We've seen loads of fish in the water as well. The cabin does come with some little floaty devices as well as some snorkeling kits as well. You've got a lovely little catamaran here as well. I'm gonna stand on it. Oh God, that's scary. So you can sunbathe here with the beautiful air from the ocean rising up and you can feel just wonderful and gorgeous. I did think it was a trampoline. David, well, it, it is kind of a trampoline, but I wouldn't jump too much because you might go into the water. But yeah, plenty of room out here. The perfect place just to sit down. I mean, look at this, sit down. Ooh. Jennifer Lawrence, that is cold. It's very, very cold indeed. It's beautiful to sit here. I can see all of the lovely fish below me. This is just spectacular. It really is fantastic. Anyway, let's go have a look at something very, very special. Oh gosh. There is an actual slide, a slide into the water. 
It's absolutely nuts. Now, price-wise, I don't know how much this costs, but I know it's very, very expensive indeed. If you've got a lot of family members with you, we'll put the price on the screen now if we've got it. And if you've got lots of family members, you can split the cost. You don't pay per person, you pay per group, and you get to use all of the other beach club facilities as well. So things like the restaurant. There is a restaurant if you want to eat here, there, but we're going to eat in our cabana, so it's our perfect, perfect, amazing, private dining room and we've got a lovely uh, a lovely steward as well who will bring us whatever we want he checks on us every 20 minutes or so guys pinch me because i feel beyond lucky right now there's so much crap going on in the world at the moment and we are just the two luckiest people in in the world we never ever forget how lucky we are and we are so appreciative ah! It's amazing. Lunch is coming in a few moments as well. I'm so excited, so excited. We're in paradise, baby. And it even includes a bucket if you need a wee. Yeah, there's a bucket. So there's not a toilet on here, but there's a bucket which you can have a wee into, then just throw over. Just kidding, of course there isn't. I don't know what the bucket's for. We'll find out later on, I guess, if we see our, um, our lovely waiter. So AJ is looking after us today. He's from India and he is the nicest guy, guys. He's really taking care of us. And he's brought us a selection of all of the appetizers. It looks super yummy. We've got some fish dishes, which I'm staying very clear of, but we've got some delicious fries. We've got mozzarella sticks. We've got some dips and hummus and things like that and it's all really wonderful. I've got a mozzarella stick. I love my mozzarella stick. Oh, and it's got a bit of hummus on there for good uh, measure as well. Mm. Well, dip me in sherbet and call me spicy. That is bloody delicious. Mm. We're going to enjoy the rest of the spread now. We're just talking about the seagulls that brought the babies out to distract us. So when we're facing one way, they're going to take all of our food. Yeah. Enjoy the buffet. I stole some of Steph's shrimp cocktail. The food is really wonderful. And it's all brought out to you as well, so you can enjoy it in your cabana and just enjoy this beautiful scenery and this gorgeous breeze. It's amazing. I don't want to leave. I'm going to hide in that shower and stay here for the next cruise. But remember to always practice a safe lunch and use a condiment. This is amazing. We're sat here feeding the fish. They're coming right up to the uh, cabana. We're feeding them with some, uh, some shrimp and they're all coming around us. There's even a gigantic stingray. He's called Jeffrey. And he's huge, he's right under the cabana there. This is the best day. And this is how I like to snorkel. I don't want to be touching them fish, but I do like to look at them. Well, slap my thighs and call me Nancy. I am impressed. The food looks amazing. I got the filet mignon and that is a big piece of beef there. Honestly, I think the chopped a cow in half and brought me half of it. It looks delicious. I don't know how I'm going to go down from here. David, what have you got? So I got the shrimp buffet, which is a buffet for one. This could feed a small country. There's about 6,000 shrimp in here and or a ton a of rice. a small island, because we're on one right now. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is the whole of the shrimp from the buffet. They just brought it to me in a cute little bento box. We're keeping it real. We're eating from the box. You could plate it up very lovely like Steph did. You can have this in the restaurant, but if you like to gorge yourself in private, you can do it in your cabana. Close the curtains. You can close the curtains and feel no shame. No shame. Okay. That is wonderful, so tasty, so delicious. Nothing on my fork. <laughs> Invisible food. You can't take me anywhere. Come on, Ben. Are you stuck? <laughs> oh, I've got to use water. I think I'm stuck. I think you're stuck. We've got to use water. That's what the bucket's for. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Can I get a little bit of help? You ready, Ben? Let's do it. Let's go. Whee! <laughs> we had hours of splashing around in the sea like little kids. What a fantastic day. Now it's the best time of any day. It's dessert time. And wow, we, these look awesome. We've got four different types of dessert. Cookies, some colorful stuff, which I'm told is called fruit. We've got some chocolate cake and we've also got some rum cake. I mean, we are in the Bahamas, right? Oh, that is nice. The rum is not overpowering at all. It's not chocolate cake, it's a brownie. And it looks like it's smothered in caramel sauce. I'm gonna go get a bit of the cream and ignore the red thing on top. I think that's called a strawberry. That, my friends, is the one. It's like a party in my mouth. That's really delicious brownie, really rich and 
caramelly and gooey, just how you like it. I got left with the fruit. <laughs> you poor thing. Oh, that is delicious. Ben, you're missing out. That is the best thing I've ever tasted. That is wonderful. Fruit's fruit, isn't it? It's a nice fruit though. <laughs> Thank you so much, <laughs> guys. These guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the Beach Club. I didn't know what to expect. I thought, whoa, is it overpriced? But if you can get a normal ticket just to come here, there's loads of sun lounges, which is great. A full-on restaurant, so you can have those exact same food items here in the restaurant. There's an infinity pool. There's a so much room and a lovely beach as well. Lots of comfortable seating areas as well. It's so lovely, but the time has come. We've only got about 15 minutes and we've got to get back to the ship. So let's rush back and go. It's been such a wonderful day. Honestly, I felt like we've lived a day of the life of a millionaire or a VIP. We're so lucky and we're so happy that we could bring you along with us. We really are. Just popped up for a few minutes just to watch the sail away. We were packing, but I couldn't resist running up really quickly to get a shot of Coco Cay. You can also see the freedom of the seas has left as well. And here's a little shot of a Norwegian's island as well. So it's right close to um, Coco Cay. So we're sailing back to Fort Lauderdale now. We are so upset. This cruise has been so fantastic. Overall, we genuinely love this ship. I do really recommend it. I think it's a fantastic ship for all ages and we can't wait to get back one day. But we've still got much more fun coming. We've got more food and we've got more entertainment tonight. So stick by as the sun just sets for the final time on Wonder of the Seas for us. So I was just walking back to the cabin and I saw these little fancy machines. I've never seen these on a cruise ship before. They're like a shop, but it's all a vending machine, but they sell everything from makeup, medicine, toys, electricals, sun cream and all of that jazz. So if you need all of that jazz on here, it's probably easier than going to the shop, but it's really cool. Vending machines on a cruise ship, who would have thought? What's next? Vending machines with food? <laughs> I hope so. 24 hour food, instantly. What do you guys think about the interior facing cabins? So the interior facing balconies. We've had a lot of complaints from our subscribers, especially because there's a brand new screen up there that it is so loud. I don't know if you can hear how loud it is now. There's a band right on the top deck, so quite far away. And it's hard to talk to one another when you're in one of the restaurants here, when you're at one of the bars. Personally, for me, it really doesn't bother me because I like the sound of this sort of music and it has a certain atmosphere about it like a resort but like we said if you have a child who goes to bed early it could be a problem but if you're like us and you're not barely in your cabin or like to sit on your cabin and hear this lovely live music you'll be fine to have a drink to celebrate this cruise because apart from one or two bad points overall this ship is incredible before dinner we headed to the brand new ice shore Speechless. I am completely speechless after that. Seriously, honestly, that has to be one of the best shows I have ever seen on a cruise ship. We've been on 65 cruises now, and honestly, I have never, ever, ever seen anything like it. It was insane. The performers, the staging, the projection mapping on the stage as well, just incredible. The music, Oh my gosh, I've got the chills, guys, and not just from the from the, the ice. ice. Honestly, it snored during the snow show. There was a whole Game of Thrones moment. It was amazing. Yeah. Seriously, one of the best. Honestly, I think it might be the best show I've ever seen on a ship. Mind blowing. Yep, do not sleep on the ice show. It's a must see. Yeah, if it's on your cruise on the Wonder of the Seas, you have to go see it. It's freaking incredible. We did also get to see a short preview of the Aqua Show in tents at the back of the ship. It's an all-female cast, and from what we saw, you're going to be in for a massive treat. It was really fantastic. Oh, Ben, I really like this top. Isn't that lovely? So we came into the shop to have a look around, but guys, it's been raided. It's like Black Friday in here. It's like Disney. Everybody wants their merch. Exactly. The shelves are empty. There was even a line outside every day just to get into the shop. Wow. I've never seen it like this before. So if you want something, I'd, I'd say get it while you can. Get your stuff quick. Right, so we're going to Playmakers for some dinner. Yes, we're going to enjoy Playmakers tonight on the boardwalk for some dinner. Let's go. Well, it's buzzing on the promenade tonight. We do like the promenade. There's always live music and entertainment going on. It is really the beating heart of the ship. Oh, 
always fun. It's a fantastic place to hang out, grab a drink, grab some pizza, do a bit of shopping, whatever you want. So we're here at Playmakers for our last meal. So sad. This is a moment, a moment to eat some food. It is an extra charge, it's all a la carte pricing and dishes start from about $6 upwards. Enjoy the last night with our friends before we get kicked off the ship and out the country. I've got deja vu, do because this looks exactly like what we ordered on the Odyssey and it was so bloody good. Obviously we got the Tower of Onion Rings, which is like the most amazing thing ever. We got dirty fries, basically fries with everything on them. And we got two different types of wings. We got 24 wings. How many chickens did we have to kill to have this meal? Is that 12 chickens? I feel a bit sorry for the chickens, to be honest. And we got some jalapeno poppers as well. And if I remember correctly, they were really spicy and delicious, so. Oh god, they're really good. Really, really tasty. It oh, was spicy again as well. We've also got company, Ben. With Alyssa and Steph. Hi! <laughs> right, so I'm going to try a barbecue chicken wing. Last time we got the normal buffalo ones. Oh, blow me out and call me a birthday cake. They are super spicy for barbecue wings. Jesus, my mouth's on fire. That's a good like 30 to 40% more spicy than I thought it was going to be. Honestly, I think the onion rings might be my favorite thing. I would have no problems coming to Playmakers every single night. It probably isn't good for me because it's legitimately all deep fried. But hey, what can you do? I'm going to go for the cheesy chips. This reminds me of the end of a night out in the UK. You get your cheesy chips. Mmm, they're really good though. The cheese is really cheesy. It's a really strong cheese and they've got a really nice salty flavour to them. Good crunch, nice sauce, great onion rings. We obviously couldn't go without ordering the um, nachos as well. We, this time we went for the pulled pork nachos. They look really good. They're the best. The sauce is like wonderful. Sour cream and onions and everything. Oh, bloody hell, man. I just, I've just ruined my phone. <laughs> I haven't been feeding my iPhone properly. It's hungry. Look at this. Really good. We had to do it. We had to get the campfire cookie, guys. Oh my gosh. You got a bit of meltage. Oh, honestly. I know I say it every time, but the two best desserts in Royal Caribbean, in my opinion, are the World in Wonderland and this campfire cookie. Mwah. French kiss. D freaking delicious. So that's it. That's our last meal on board. Well, we might have breakfast tomorrow, but we ain't going to film that because we're going to have all of our equipment. But that's probably our last meal on board uh, Wonder of the Seas. Can you believe it? It feels like it's gone so, so quickly, too quickly, mainly because of the amazing company we had with Steph. Make sure you check her channel out in the comment section below, in the description section below. She's amazing. We've had such a wonderful time. It's felt like cruising's brand new again. We have to say this ship really is incredible. I know we had one or two little teething issues, but apart from that, she is an amazing, amazing ship. She looks beautiful. She works well. It's a busy cruise and it was, it still felt like there was plenty of room to do everything. We would not hesitate to come back on Wonder of the Seas. We really wouldn't. We've had such a wonderful time. Whee. Playmakers, oh my God, wonderful. Guys, the amount of times I've said wonderful in this bloody video, I do apologize. And we're so excited to say we're going to be on Valiant Lady from Virgin Voyages next week. So join us next Sunday. But anyway, let's head up to up to stairs and we'll say good night to you there because I'm so sad to be getting off. I genuinely am. I've had the best time. Hey guys, some of our lovely subscribers that we've met on this cruise. Seriously, you're amazing guys. Thank you so much for our duck. You guys. They found amazing. us a duck. Yay. Now you're going to have to explain the duck. Yes. All the Brits. We'll explain the duck in a minute because there's a, a, there's a long backstory and we've never heard of it before. So we're, we're going to see if you have to. Oh my gosh, David, is it just me or is this definitely the worst part of any cruise? The last night, always the worst. You've got to pack, you've got to get everything ready, you've got to sort out your travel for tomorrow, check in for your flights. You get given, you all know this by now, but if you're not, if you're new to cruise or if you're new to Royal Caribbean, you're Caribbean, given time. Caribbean, Caribbean. Uh, you're given a time. So we have been given 7.30 a.m. But... If you walk off by yourself and take your own luggage, you can get off at 9.15, which yes. we will be doing. Oh, David, show them what we got in our cabin tonight. So every single night on this inaugural cruise, we got a lovely little gift, as did everybody on board. And tonight we got a little certificate just to say that we are the first people to sail on this lovely ship. First people to sleep in the bed, first people to touch this mirror, first people to do a star jump. 
Right, so we're all done. We just need to talk really quickly before we go, guys, about ducks. Apparently this is a thing on a cruise ship. How were we not aware about this? So hiding ducks on cruise ships. Our lovely subscriber Michael and his husband gave us this duck because we couldn't find any. There was absolutely loads on board. So we're going to put our little stamp on it then hide it on a cruise ship in the future. Yeah, so Mary and Kathy. Guys, thank you so much for joining in our adventure on Wonder of the Seas. We appreciate you so much and we are so thankful that you're sticking with us. Please do hit that subscribe button and the like button as well. It does really help us. But if you can't it doesn't matter thanks just for watching us thanks for just being you yes thank you everybody that came up to us on this cruise said hello it was wonderful oh, meeting amazing. all of you it's been amazing big thank you as well to all of our patrons you guys are amazing shimmy as balls shimmy as in wonder Bull. They. It was because of your support on Patreon that we're able to continue giving content on this channel for free and self-funding these trips. If you'd like to find out more about becoming a Patreon and in return you can receive extra benefits including advert free videos so no commercials. Click the link in the description section below. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising! Right you're going in the case now people so let's get you in there. Get you in this case. I'll zip you up. Right, we'll see you later.